Are you a marine invertebrate looking to settle somewhere with a bit more life? Then at Laminaria Let's, we're here to help you. Laminaria Let's. Welcome to Laminaria Let's. Here at this real estate agents, we're committed to providing our customers with the best biogenic habitat available in the southwest. Opposed to the bog standard rocky shore you'll find here in Plymouth, a biogenic habitat is created by an organism or its activities. This alternative form of a living accommodation can provide you with an array of life-changing, fitness-increasing opportunities, such as shelter from predation and wave action, to grazing opportunities to fill your stomach. And though many species in the UK produce biogenic habitat, such as seagrass and honeycomb worms, we specialise primarily in kelp. Kelp are brown macroalgae from the order Laminarialis. They might look like land plants, but they're actually distantly related to them. They expand upwards in the water column from the intertidal to 30 metres deep, and they play a key role as primary producers in coastal environments. This habitat provides ecosystem services, such as carbon sequestration, nutrient cycling, coastal defense, as well as being a biogenic habitat for many commercial fish species. At the same time, it also modifies the substratum and the abiotic factors on their environment, being a true ecosystem engineer. Yes, we can do that. This map shows the availability of properties around the globe, with kelp primarily occurring in shallow, temperate regions in the littoral zone, and the maximum diversity occurring around the North Atlantic and around the British Isles, meaning we have plenty of biogenic habitat for native species looking to get on the property ladder in such a competitive market. And with the growth rate of kelp maximizing every summer, we have holiday homes every year guaranteed. And if you're not sold on the wonders of our kelp, let me take you to one of our properties here in Plymouth, presented to you by one of our agents in the field, Leo. To you, Leo. Here we have some of the properties we have for sale, so let's have a look. This part is called the lamina. It is a large and flexible surface where most of the photosynthesis occurs. By far the best thing about living on the kelp is the grooves I make in the lamina and stipe that provide me with a stable habitat and plenty of grazing opportunities. However, due to harsh storms, the kelp can get detached, Mr. Shelby. When this happens, I can get carried away on a kelp raft and redistribute it to a new habitat. The middle section, this type, hosts the highest abundance of epibionts. This is due to the epiphytic algae that increases the habitat complexity and provides shelter and grazing opportunities. I love living here because the hard substratum and the space available allow me to have a safe residence protected from grazers and storms. While living on this type, I'm also offering accommodation to abundant invertebrate communities, creating facilitation cascades. Here at the Holdfast, the intertwining Haptera secure the kelp to the substratum. The high complexity of this three-dimensional structure establishes many microhabitats where different customers can reside, being the most diverse neighborhoods we offer. We we'll use the Holdfast only from predators, we do, don't we? I feast as much as I can on these precious whole fasts. Me and my mates are so voracious, we could eat the old estate. If you don't believe our satisfied clients, let's hear from our photosynthetic advisor, Dr. Kelp. This study, carried out by our Norwegian associates, shows how the stack hosts the most abundant epibiota. However, the whole fast is residence to the most diverse community, being 50% more diverse than the stack and 100% more diverse than the lamina. Lemino has the least popularity among our clientele, usually being occupied by hedgerows, bryozoans, and gastropods. Laminaria lads. As we have seen, kelp forests are essential biogenic habitats and play a key role in temperate water ecosystems. This, coupled with the ecosystem services and functions they provide, make them extremely valuable. Our properties are being threatened by human activity. Overfishing of biotrophic levels and agricultural runoffs are causing regime shifts. The increase in sea surface temperatures and its acidification are detrimental for our communities, without even mentioning invasive species. However, marine protected areas and reforestation have the potential to restore and maintain healthy kelp habitats. So now, more than ever, 
it's time to invest. Thank you.